Hi, my name's Ed and I will be training you on the Karagicek Pro 2 INR meter for use by healthcare professionals. Inside the box, you will receive the Karagicek Pro 2 device, the power cable, the UK power adapter, the battery cover and the screwdriver. Please ensure you keep hold of your screwdriver as you may need it in future. A rechargeable battery, a strip guide cover and the operator's manual. When connecting the UK power adapter to the power supply unit, please press firmly, making sure it's flush with the end of the power supply unit. Inside the box of strips, you will receive two pots of 24 strips, a pack insert. Please ensure you read the pack insert thoroughly as it does list limitations and contraindicators, and also an individual code chip that will match the number on the pot of strips. Inside the box of quality control, you will receive four ampules of level one, four ampules of level two, eight sealed pipettes, a pack insert. Please ensure you thoroughly read the pack insert and a unique code chip that matches the lot number of the quality control. Before using the Coagicek Pro 2 device for the first time, please ensure you have read the manual carefully. You can use the Coagicek Pro 2 device with the power adapter, or you can use the rechargeable battery. The optional handheld base unit provides connectivity with a data manager and it can also be used as a charging unit. Looking at the front of the meter, you have the power button. Please press this to turn the meter on and off. The meter has a touch screen. Please don't use sharp objects. At the bottom of the meter, you will find the test strip guide for inserting test strips. At the rear of the meter, you will find the battery compartment. At the top of the meter, you will find the code chip slot for inserting the relevant code chip. You will also find the connection socket to plug in the power supply unit. You will find the barcode scanner on the right side of the meter. You can use this barcode scanner to identify both patient and operator IDs and also the quality control solution. To insert the battery, use a supplied screwdriver to remove the battery cover. Firmly insert the connector plug of the battery into the socket. Place the battery into the compartment with the cables pointing down and then reattach the battery cover. To perform a patient test, press the patient test button. If the operator list is activated, select the correct patient. Alternatively, you can scan or type in the patient ID. Only insert the strip when the meter prompts you. Remove a strip from the pot and replace the lid immediately. Only handle strips with clean, dry hands. It is recommended to wear gloves whenever you perform a test. Insert the strip in the direction of the arrows. If the meter has not previously seen this lot number of strips, you will be asked to insert the code chip that comes with the pot of strips. Insert the code chip into the code chip slot until you feel it click into place. The hourglass symbol indicates the meter is warming up the strip. Only apply the sample when you see the blood drop symbol appear. 
you must apply the sample within three minutes. Prior to lancing the finger, please ensure that it is clean and dry. Wash the finger with soap and warm water and dry thoroughly. Take an AccuCheck Safety Pro lancing device and remove the sterile cap. You can adjust the depth setting by twisting the end. Firmly press the lancet to the side of the finger. Avoid lancing the tip, pad or knuckle. Massage the finger gently until a drop of blood is formed, but please do not squeeze. The sample volume required is eight microliters. This is approximately the size of a ladybird. When you have a sufficient blood sample, guide the finger to the test strip and apply the blood to either the top or the side of the clear section of the test strip. You must apply the first drop of blood and within 15 seconds. The test strip works by capillary action. Hold the finger to the clear section of the test strip until the flashing blood drop icon disappears. This indicates there is sufficient sample for the test. The measurement starts and an automatic quality control test is performed. A QC sign and a green tick indicate the automatic quality control has passed. The result is displayed and automatically saved. Before ending the test, there is an option to add a comment. To do this, press the speech bubble symbol. You can select up to three predefined comments or add a custom comment. Once selected, press the tick button to confirm the entry. The comments will be displayed under the result. By pressing the main menu button, the meter will prompt you to remove the test strip. Please dispose of the used lancet and test strip as per your local guidelines. If the test fails, for example, due to a sampling error, please repeat the test using a new strip and a fresh site for lancing. To perform a quality control test, you will need the meter, the test strips, a level one and a level two control solution, and the corresponding code chips, and two sealed pipettes. Switch the meter on by pressing the power button. Check the battery level and check the time and date are correct. To prepare the quality control solution, please follow the instructions as laid out by the pack insert. After you have prepared the quality control solution, select control test on the main menu. Then select control test on the QC test menu. Only insert the strip when you see the test strip icon. Insert the strip in the direction of the arrows. If the meter has not previously seen this lot number of quality control, you will be asked 
to insert the code chip that comes with the quality control solution. The hourglass symbol indicates the meter is warming up the strip. The meter indicates it is ready to perform the test when the pipette symbol appears. Do not apply the sample until you see this symbol. You must apply the sample within three minutes. Apply the sample to the top of the clear testing area of the strip. The pipette symbol will disappear when sufficient sample has been applied. When the test has finished, the result will appear on the screen and will automatically be saved to the memory. If the meter has not previously seen this lot number of quality control, you will be asked to insert the code chip that comes with the quality control solution. Press new code and insert the code chip into the code chip slot until you feel it click into place. You will now be asked to select which level of quality control you would like to run. Select the correct level by looking at the label on the quality control ampule. Alternatively, you can press scan and scan the barcode. If the meter has already seen the quality control lot number, you can press scan and scan the barcode on the quality control ampule. If the meter fails quality control, it is recommended to repeat the test. If the meter still fails, troubleshoot by using new strips and quality control solution. Please dispose of the used quality control ampule, pipette and test strip as per your local guidelines. Strips can be stored at room temperature. Quality control must be stored in a refrigerator. Thanks for watching this training video on the Coagicheck Pro 2 INR meter. For further information, please refer to your operator's manual.